What I want, you've got. And it might be hard to handle. Well, that's like a flame that burns the candle. The candle feeds the flame. Yeah, yeah. What I got, full stock of thoughts and dreams that scatter. When you pull them all together. And how I can't explain, oh yeah. Well, well, you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You make my dreams come true. Welcome to Gabe's Cave. I am Darren, and I am back. I have not been on the show very much lately. We're trying to do more comic-themed stuff like we used to do back when we first started. We think that that is our niche, and we enjoy comics. Most of us on here do. I like them. I just don't know them as much as the other people you see on here regularly. And Gabe. Hi, how are you? Gabe is mostly back. Um, School will be starting back up here pretty soon, but he should be on the show most of the time. Yeah. Um, I'll be in and out. You never know. Uh, if it's something really cool like today's episode, which is a comic, I don't know much about it. I just thought it was really, really cool. Before we get into the topic of today, we'll thank our sponsors. That's RPG, RPGHiring.com. Make sure you check them out. They're building people, changing lives. And Comic Shield. I mean, Comic Shield's a super good way to mail your comics. And honestly, comics, art, lots of stuff. They have graded boxes, regular boxes, all kinds of boxes. Um, awesome people over there at Comic Shield. Uh, another thing is, I just want to go ahead and announce our winners from last week. Uh, we like to do this at the first because people who are new to the channel, we do give away art cards every week. Um, we normally have an artist interview, but here towards the end of the year, because it is Christmas time, um, we kind of run into the artist. We couldn't quite make time for an interview, um, either their end or our end, or something went wrong, or whatever the case is. Uh, just couldn't make it work out for an interview, and we hope to have them back next year or whatever so we can do that awesome interview if it's their first time. Today's topic is about a weird toy and um, comic called uh, Phantom Star Killer, and I'll tell you about how this kind of went about. Never heard of it. I was doing, the speaking of which, the artist interview with Will Burton Jr., and we were talking about his cards, and I didn't know who this was. Um, we'll have it here. Hopefully Alejandro can like zoom in. But this is his card. Nobody won this. This is from a little while back. I'm not gonna say I'm mad or anything that nobody won it because I I like it a lot. It's gonna step you at the shop, probably on one of these shelves here. It was uh it was like this. I don't know what inspired him to do this said card, but Phantom Star Killer started off with a toy, of which after the the interview I went and bought There's the toy because I thought it was really cool. This is obviously not the first one. I probably can't afford it. Which um, version do you have? Uh, that's a good question. Gray Ghoul Gray. Oh, okay. I don't know. We'll talk about that in a minute. But it started off with a toy. And I'll give you kind of a bit of a rundown. I'm going to read off my phone here in a minute, too, because it's really cool for those that don't know about it. Um, Peter Goral over Killer Bootlegs. It's his company. They're not like actual bootlegs. I didn't understand yeah, that yeah, at yeah. first. Yeah, yeah, So they're not actual bootlegs, and they're not actually killing people. Killer Bootlegs is their, is his his company. And, and from what I understand, he just goes and, like, casts his own toys and uses, like, ideas from different stuff. Like, obviously, um, Phantom Star Killer has, like, a... Um, I don't know if you can see it or not. We may try to find it online. But, like, a, a hidden blade in the arm, kind of like Obi-Wan and Luke did from the original Kenner um, lightsaber or Star Wars figures with a lightsaber coming out of their arm. Um, it's got like a Darth Vader chess piece and some other stuff. So it, 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 he made this made this this uh, character here and he took it to I want to say San Diego Comic Con where they made a 25 piece limited run and it sold out before uh, San Diego Comic Con ever opened there. I think they were like a hundred dollars a piece at first, and the the vendors bought them out and it was so popular everybody at the show was talking about it even though there's only 25. So I guess the 25 were just sitting at people's random booths and not for sale or whatever. But everybody was talking about it, and I don't want to say a few months later, he made another run of like 10 or something like that. And over the next few months and years, Killer Bootlegs made a few runs here and there about different ones. And, and they always had like different different themes, like the one they re-ran it. Yeah, different color palettes every single time. It was always like the same figure, um, just a different color palette. They changed um, it up very slightly, but yeah, not a ton. Yeah, and they've got, from what I understand, there's like themed ideas of the color palette and i'll talk about it on my phone in just a minute but like um, at some point a few months later or whatever they um they partnered with super seven and reaction figures which is what this one is, is a reaction figure um done with super seven up here at the top which um is like a smaller company not smaller but they're, they're huge 
but they're like um, they're not Hasbro by any means. Yeah. But they make all kinds of really neat figures. Um, I would say go check out Super Seven if you're into like like indie action figures, which I thought was really cool. But after that, because of its popularity, because it's super popular, and they still make Killer, Killer Bootleg still makes other different figures, and so does Super Seven Reaction. But this has just kind of been like their their top of the like every like the most popular one of the. This whole thing. blew up, so they decided to revolutionize it. Yes. They decided to continue with the line and make more things. They're adding a story to them. They're going right. to add uh, more characters to them. They're adding in... Eventually, I'm assuming they'll start making the other characters into action figures, his villains and everything they like that. Have. They already have? They already have. They already made So, help. it started off with this one, and it was just like it said, it's just a phantom star killer. There was no real... Ba- I mean, sure, there was a little bit of a backstory, but not like... But Peter decided to make a backstory. And he partnered with Black Caravan. Uh, they partnered Cheater. with a comic company and are making a line of comics. Um, and I thought that was even cooler. So what did I do? I bought one. They made a comic line. And in the comic line, there are other characters and stuff like that. And as far as I know, and I want to say I saw one, there's um, like his villain or another character in here. I haven't read the comic. Fear not. Count Draco Knuckle Duster. Yeah, Knuckle Duster. Yeah, there, it just seems so cool to me that I decided to buy the comic, and I'm gonna. I actually have some ordered through Gabe's Cave Comics Cards and Collectibles. Um, I actually have some of their new line. It's this. This. It's just a reprint, and I'm gonna read them, and I'm gonna send one off to grade or whatever. But yeah, I just. It, it, it's such a random little. It started off as. Um, I'm not gonna say a joke because I don't know Peter, um, but what seems to me like. Um, just to kind of mash up of some of the characters that right. and action figures that he may have. It would be like had. me and Gabe making an action figure for the fun of it. Yeah. And then it being massive. And like, then someone's just like, "That's awesome! I'm it, buying it." It's really cool, and I love the artwork of this one. I don't even know who did it. Who did it say? <laughs> Joseph <laughs> Schmalk and Peter Goral did the cover and art. So there you go. Uh, this is the Ashcan, um, like the first print, first edition, whatever. The Which, very first one, the, it's, the, like the, limit, the, the the first run or whatever. As far as I know about the story, it's supposed to just kind of give a backstory to him and tell you what he is doing. And then as far as the next book, which is they actually already have the book out. You can buy it right now. They have a bunch of different versions of the ash can. They also have a New York Comic Con edition for 2020. Mm-hmm. Um, you can still buy them online as far as I know right now. But. Uh, they also have a Count Draco Knuckle Duster comic that just released not yeah. way too long ago, and they're supposed to start making more of the other characters and releasing more characters, from what I know. And I'll read you kind of like the little, in my uh, my poem voice here. This is a little bit of the backstory here. So, for uncounted millennia, the crypto-crystalline stone remained lost to the blackness of space, hidden among the stars. As time passed, the galaxy slipped into greater peril. Thousands of systems fell, and worlds crumbled. Dark and ominous beings conspire from the shadows to possess its unlimited power and ability to resurrect a legion of deathless warriors. From the vastness of the unknown regions, whispers of his return paralyzed all in fear, the Phantom Star Killer. The cosmic ghoul warrior must now unleash his inner darkness to carry out his master's wishes, all while plotting his revenge. For he cannot stop his interstellar rampage until the curse of the crypto crystalline stone has been broken. Yeah, that's it. That just sounds. I, I, mean, I don't know, man. It just sounds so cool. Yeah. It's like. We got a space ghoul with a lightsaber it, and a Darth Vader breather. It's Star Wars, a uh, Ghost Rider. Uh, like <laughs> yeah. I don't I mean <sighs> it, it's got it's got a kind of like a, a Ghost Rider spawn vibe like the vengeance yeah kind of, like right, he's right, a right. like a kind of spirit of vengeance kind of thing where he's gonna turn on his on who he's yeah. working for at the same time he's traveling through space and, and the time. entire yeah the entirety of the cosmos are right. scared he's like cosmic Ghost Rider Silver Surfer Star Wars Indiana Jones got some crystal a crystal skull bro. It just was cool. I, like literally, after he told me about it, I was like, "I'm gonna do I'm some research, it. whatever." And and I I saw it and read it, and I was like, "You're coming home with me." That is my my little uh, adventure I went on with uh, the Phantom Star Killer, and I just want to say thank you dive. to uh, Will, uh, to Will Britton Jr., uh, who opened my eyes to this. <laughs> While we're here, we might as well go on to this week's artist spotlight. Um, we have Ghostface. We've got the Worms dude. 
We have The Crow. What We have got Dexter, Pennywise. We have What's-Her-Name from Star Wars, Bo-Katan. Um, we've got a power suit, power armor from, I think, Fallout 3, actually. Uh, but yeah, Super Awesome Cards by Darren. I like the name, dude. Darren Coburn James. Um, we will link all of his socials. And if you want to win one of these cards, make sure you click the first link in the description below. The gamescave.com giveaways link. Make sure you list out all, you know, all 10 of these in order on how you would want to win them. Therefore, if you win, all we have to do is just grab it and go. Mail it to you, and you should have it. You might have it before Christmas. Maybe. Thank, Thank you to our sponsors one more time. That's RPG and Comic Shield. And, uh, yeah, happy uh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. We're not quite there yet, but uh, we're almost there. Stay in touch.